Well, first thing this morning, I called David Christofoli and congratulated him on being elected Queensland's Premier. Uh, being Premier of this state has been the greatest honour of my life and it is an honour that he has now earned. I congratulated him on a great uh, campaign and uh, on his effort to become our state's Premier. I assured him that all appropriate steps had been taken to ensure a very smooth transition to the new government. Uh, he will right now be experiencing what I saw in 2015, which is just how professional our public service is at managing a transition of government. It was something that genuinely impressed me then. Um, I've just come from the Governor's House where I've formally tendered my resignation as the state's Premier uh, and uh, it was great to have a cup of tea with her and Professor uh, Nemo as well. The result uh, last night was much better than expected but uh, clearly uh, nowhere near sufficient for a Labor victory. I'm very proud of the campaign that I ran and the government that I've led these last 10 months, but at the end of the day, clearly Queenslanders for some time have wanted to see change of government and that's what uh, the result of, last, of yesterday's election uh, will be. From here, the task of all of our Labor MPs who have been successful is to rebuild our party and prepare to return to government at the next election and to hold the current government uh, to account. The next few steps of that process are pretty logical. Uh, we need to see the count concluded and determine who is in our caucus, the makeup of our caucus. Then our caucus will meet and elect our office bearers. I'll remain the leader of the party until at least that point in time. And I would like to, if they choose to support me, I would like to stay on as Labor's leader beyond then. But ultimately, that is a decision for them. From there, our team will need to do the work of uh, reconnecting with Queenslanders, particularly regional Queenslanders, who clearly we have lost our connection with. Uh, we will need to listen to them and hear from them. We will need to listen to them and hear from them uh, precisely what they, they want to see us do different. And then based on that, we will build over the next four years a program to take to the next election. I'm happy to take a few questions, but I'm sure you'll all understand my desire to get to the pub. Your MP's endorsed you last night on multiple networks to remain on as leader. You've just challenged Jason Kenny to run for Well, I want to pay our MPs the respect of allowing them to get elected first. So once we see precisely the makeup of the caucus, I will ask them for their support.